So we're gonna shallow fry these, and what I mean by shallow fry is you get about, um, you get a good layer of oil in the pan, so it's not completely covering the pan, and if I swirl it around, you can sort of see that. That's what I call a shallow fry. So when you're frying the meatballs, at least half of the meatball is immersed in the oil. We've got my cool little scooper, and I use a scooper because it lets you stay really consistent with size. So put these in the fryer, and I'll show you what I serve this up with. This is my gremolata. Fresh parsley, fresh mint, and I put this in the food processor. It takes no time to zip it up. And then take my zester, and I start zesting some of that lemon. And the reason I use the lemon zest in here is lemon zest has just a tremendous amount of beautiful um, oils in there. And then I also cut it in half and take some of that lemon juice for the acidity. So we squeeze that right in. Pine nuts go in the bowl. I got my pine nuts in the bowl, then we hit it with salt. And pepper. And we put the top on. Little thing off, and I start adding my olive oil. And there's my gremolata. Took no time to make. Unbelievably easy. So we'll set this aside. So I've got a cool bowl over here. And I just topped it with some dried root vegetable. Each one gets about two meatballs. And then my gremolata that's all done. I'm gonna top these meatballs with it. How beautiful does that look? I've got my pine nuts, the mint, the parsley, lemon juice, olive oil, little garlic, the zest. It's beautiful. Then I hit it with a little bit of coarse sea salt right on top. And there we are. These are my lamb meatballs with a toasted pine nut gremolata.